Welcome to the future of marketing automation. Today, I'm going to guide you through the process of creating your very own AI-powered marketing assistant step-by-step. Step. Whether you're a seasoned marketing professional, a small business owner, or a solopreneur hustling to get your brand out there, this tool is designed to streamline your content creation process and supercharge your marketing efforts. We all know the importance of creating engaging platform-specific content, but the process can be time-consuming and overwhelming. That's where our marketing assistant comes in. Built using LaneChain, a powerful tool that leverages the capabilities of OpenAI, our assistant will help you generate a variety of content pieces all tailored for different platforms. Before we dive in, let's talk about the final design of our marketing assistant app. This app will use LaneChain to create three different chains, a blog post chain, a YouTube script chain, and a YouTube visual chain. These chains will then be linked together using a sequential chain, where one chain can take in multiple variables. Let's start by setting up our environment. First, we need to install the necessary packages. Run the following command in your terminal. pip install langchain, openai, streamlit, python.ev. Langchain is a library that simplifies the process of using large language models. OpenAI is a large language model that we use today. Streamlit is a framework for building web apps in Python. And python.ev is for managing environment variables. Next, we need to set up our OpenAI API key. Create a .env file in your project directory and add the following line. Replace your OpenAI key with your actual OpenAI key. This file will be used to securely store our API key. Now let's create our main Python file, app.py. This is where we'll build our marketing assistant. We'll start by importing the necessary modules and loading our environment variables. From langchain.lmms, import OpenAI. From langchain.prompts, import prompt template. From langchain.chains, import LLM chain, simple sequential chain, sequential chain. Yeah, we're going to be using auto chains today, so you'll learn a lot. Import OS. From .env, import load.env. The load.env function loads the environment variable from our .env file we created earlier. Next, we'll set up our language model and our first prompt template. LLM equals OpenAI temperature 0.9. This initializes an instance of OpenAI's GPT-P3 model. The temperature primer controls the model's randomness, so a higher value like 0.9 uh, makes it more random, while a lower value makes it more deterministic. In this case, we want a high value because we want a lot of new ideas. The prompt template class is a simple instruction that takes in input variables and passes it into the template. In our case, the product description is given by the user, and we're asking the model to write a blog post on it. We then combine the model and the prompt into a chain. In this case, we included verbose because we want to see the log output in the terminal. To run the code, create a product description variable with best equal friendly coffee. We can now run the chain by chain.run and pass in the product description as an argument. Let's bring the terminal window up and run python app.py. We see the model running with the log output. Give us some time and here's the final output. Awesome, now we have our blog post. The example I just showed you is the most simple LM chain. We will next learn how to sequentially run chains through a simple sequential chain. Before we dive in, we should rename our original prompt template to blog prompt template and chain to blockchain for better naming convention. In addition, we will have to add an output key to the blockchain, which will be necessary when we pass the blog output into our YouTube script chain. Let's move on to our next step, creating the YouTube script chain. The YouTube script prompt template will take the blog we generated earlier with a template asking to write an engaging YouTube short script video for a new product based on the blog. The LM chain for the YouTube script will use the same OpenAI LM model we initialized earlier. The new prompt template we just created verbose as true. The output key set to YouTube script. Um, these keys are important because we use them to pass the output of one chain into another through the keys. We can now create our simple sequential chain that includes blockchain and YouTube script chain. To run the chain, uh, we just call simple underscore chain dot run and input our product description. The chains are executed in the order they are listed. Let's bring the terminal window up and run python app.py again. We see the log outputting, nice. Here is our blog output. And here's our YouTube output. Awesome. We're not done yet. We're going to take this a step further and generate some visual scenes for our YouTube script. We start with a YouTube visual prompt template. 
This time we input two variables, YouTube script and blog. This is where the power of a sequential chain comes in. Unlike a simple sequential chain, sequential chain allows any state in the chain to take in multiple variables, which is crucial for more complex tasks that require multiple inputs. The template uses both variables to provide more context and detailed instruction for the prompt. The YouTube visuals LLM chain looks very similar to what we had before. Now for the sequential chain, we're calling it the marketing automation chain, which takes in our blockchain, YouTube script chain, and the newly created YouTube visual chain. The chain are again executed in the order they are listed, and the output of each chain is used as the input for the next. The input variable is product description, and finally we have the output variable for each chain. We can run the marketing automation chain by passing the product description. It's amazing with just a few lines of code, we're able to piece together really powerful language models. All right, to really make our AI-driven marketing assistant come to life, let's build a simple web app using Streamlit. First, we import Streamlit as ST on the top. Then we start off by creating a title for our app, uh, then some text to clearly indicate what the current marketing assistant is able to do, and some new features we want to add in the future. If you got here so far, please consider subscribing and drop in the comment section what AI assistant you made. Let me know what else you'd like me to cover, as I'll be doing more of these videos in the future. This next part is important as this generates a text input field. For our input field, we are asking the user to insert a product description. We can even put a place for a text. And yet, you guessed it, the product description variable we have been manually creating will be this text input, which we save as our user input variable. Then we create a button that will trigger our AI system when it is clicked. It also checks to make sure the user input is not empty. When triggered, it will run our marketing automation chain with our user input and save that as app data. We added some dividers so the app is easier to read. In the end, we can parse through the different chains output key in the app data to show the generated content. Now to run our marketing assistant, we open up our terminal and type streamlet run app.py. And that's it. You've now built your very own AI power marketing assistant. With this assistant, you can automate your content creation process, save time, and focus on what really matters, growing your business. All right, I hope you all learned something. Happy coding, y'all. See y'all next time.